This is TV Platinum. Here are the top five stories making the headline. On number one, former President Odusheg Mwabasonjo has dismissed claims of his alleged ego heritage, stating that such rumors only make him laugh. He made this remark while addressing the leadership of the Indigo Amaka Progressive Market Association at the Ulushe Gomba Sanjo Presidential Library in Abel Kuta Ogun State. Oba Sanjo also emphasized the importance of unity, declaring that every Nigerian should have the right to live anywhere in the country without fear of discrimination. On number two, Zongshan Fungcheng Industrial Investment Company Limited, a Chinese firm, has released one of the Nigerian presidential jets it had previously seized. The jet was confiscated following the court order due to an outstanding $74.5 million debt owed to the company. The firm decided to release the aircraft to enable President Bola Tinubu attend a scheduled meeting with French President Emmanuel Macron next week. On number 3, more than 20 medical and dental students, along with a house officer, were kidnapped by gunmen in Benue State while traveling to the Federation of Catholic Medical and Dental Students Annual Convention in Enugu. The students from the University of Meiduguri and the University of Jos were ambushed in the Utuku area around 5.30 p.m. The incident has raised concerns about the safety of students traveling within the country. On number 4, a federal high court in Lagos has ordered the interim forfeiture of properties linked to former Central Bank Governor Godwin Emefeli. The ruling was made by Justice Akinta Yohaluku following an application by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC, which is investigating Emefeli for alleged fraudulent activities. The properties include prime real estate in Leki and Ekoi, Lagos, and a large industrial complex under construction in Agua Delta State. And lastly, the Ekiti State Police Command has arraigned a 20-year-old Katurera Muhammad Ubelo for allegedly destroying farm produce valued at 3.8 million naira belonging to four individuals. The incident occurred in August 10 in Idoile, Ekiti. The police prosecutor, Inspector Elijah Adejari, requested an adjournment to study the case file while the defendant's counsel, Mr. Adeyemi Egbebi, sought bail for his client, assuring the court that Belo would not abscond. Those are the top stories. Do subscribe and follow us across all our platforms to get more of this update.